Now, some of the question, types of questions you get, you might get in waves will be just a straightforward memorization. That's what this question seven is. It's, uh, oh, once again, I think I, that's why I started out with this statement. Waves and oscillations, it's at that sweet spot of where sometimes you might be called to frankly just to memorize stuff. <laughs> and on other times, there might be no information you could have memorized. It's just asking for your problem solving skill. This is, you know, a good chunk of this class was um, you uh, working through very mechanical steps of rather tedious work. And towards the end of the semester now is where I want you to spread your wings, exercise your creativity. Uh, not on this question though. This question, you're just supposed to memorize that um, wave speed on a wave on a string. Uh, there's a formula that's derived in your textbook is given by square root of tension per linear mass density. Um, I guess the thing to memorize th is this general form. And I hope it's um, not too hard to memorize that from your um, other memorized formula from oscillations, that the angular frequency is square root of k over m, that, um, that this formula here is similar enough that, um, that you can uh, kind of memorize that. Um, though sometimes the thing that gets confusing is uh, which one goes on the numerator and which goes on the denominator. That's where I try to remember that uh, more higher tension means a uh, faster speed of wave. So once you remember that, then, then you can kind of each time check for yourself, oh, is tension supposed to be on the numerator or denominator? So just calling you to memorize that formula. Now, once you have memorized that, then it's the tension that's unknown. You are given the wave speed and you are even given the linear mass density in the basic SI unit. So very nice. So just to solve this for tension, tension is equal to uh, mu times V squared. So plug in the numbers, that'll give you tension in the basic SI unit. If you doubt, you can always double check your units to be sure. And that's it. Um, so straightforward memorization. And um, there can very easily be questions like those with waves and oscillations, just to basically formulas to memorize. And whenever you memorize formulas, my recommendation, make sure you understand the context, make sure you understand what K stands for, what M stands for, what mu stands for. This is not friction coefficient, it's a linear mass density and you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs>